At about 2.10 a.m. on the 6th of January 2009, a group of about 20 thugs armed with firearms and explosives broke into the MTV MBC studio complex in the Panama while our unarmed colleagues were on their night shift. They had arrived at the location in a white van with no license plates. This armed gang entered the security building and after taking the guards hostage proceeded to enter the studio complex and destroy the equipment there. The master control room which coordinates all telecasts was severely damaged in the attack which saw the use of Claymore explosives. The master control room which boasted an automated computer system was one of the most advanced of its kind in South Asia. Following the attack, the government analysts department determined that there had been an attempt to set off an 8 kilogram claimer bomb inside the master control room. Even when our equipment had been reduced to debris, the limitless strength of our staff enabled us to get back on the airwaves within a short period. Senior journalist Lasanta Vikramatunga was assassinated two days after this attack. It was on the very day that the Panama Studio Complex was attacked that Lasanta Vikramatunga, who stood for the people's right to information, made his final statement to the media. I wholeheartedly condemn this terroristic attack on the Sirius MTV Shakti stations. We as media personnel will have to face up to this challenge. This is not the first time uh, media organizations have come under attack and this certainly won't be the last. But we as media personnel must face up to this challenge, not be bowed down what, under whatever threats and intimidation and unitedly face this threat. Just as Lasanta Vikramatunga said, in spite of the persisting dangers, our staff continued their service, keeping you informed and up to date upholding your right to information. We have not forgotten the strength that you, the people, gave us during this trying time. On that day, we were heartbroken. However, we did not let the courage be drained out of us. Our courage did not allow us to do so. Our strength only made us more and more stable. Six years since then, we come before you as the country's number one media network. You were with us throughout that time. At times, those who attacked us on that day might think to themselves that we are appearing on behalf of their rights, their freedom and their democratic rights. That is the truth. There is no time for us. We will always and forever stand for the people of this country, their rights, their democratic rights, media freedom, the responsibility of the media, and the honor of the media.